Hello everyone, welcome to Neon 10 Productions. Uh, I have um, a new video, a new uh, series of video or uh, reaction, um, and it's for uh, the channel, the YouTube channel um, Double Toasted, which are a movie review. And uh, their takes are always funny, and uh, I've seen a lot of their videos, and yeah, I always laugh a lot at their, uh, the way they, 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 they rip apart certain movies. Uh, my favorite reviews of them um, would be probably the Good Burger one that is really good. And the Omalone tree, and anything with the the, the 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 B movies like Samurai Cup and stuff like that. Always funny, but this time we'll be watching their. Uh, it's really recent, not the most recent, as I'm. Recording this, the release one for Undercover Brother, I think, uh, which is a movie that I, I've watched at least a few times. I don't really remember it, but it, it's not the point. Uh, so, yeah, like I said, um, review of Jaws, uh, Jaws for the Revenge. Uh, so it will be really fun. Uh, Jaws, the, the original Jaws is one of my favorite horror movie, um, along with uh, the first Elm Street. And yeah, the four, the fourth one. Um, what I think about it is, um, I think it's a bad movie. Uh, but for some reason, it's a, it's a movie that really stayed in my head for a long long time and I can't explain why <laughs> it's really weird and yeah um, yeah you could say that it's a movie that is rent rent free in my head constantly uh, and yeah But it will be fun. No. So, anyway, let's start the video because it's almost more than one hour. So, we'll have for a long time. So, let's go. Um, again, uh, those reactions are for fun. If Double Toasted want me to remove the videos or something, they will be removed instantly. No question asked. Uh, it's just for fun, like I always say, so I don't want trouble with them or anything. So if they want me to remove the video, it will be removed, no question asked. Um, so, for the time being, let's uh, have fun and watch, watch the, the review. Okay, go. The shark sw swims like it's talking about Mardi Gras. It, shark swims like it's been there. Shark swims like it's just drunk. <laughs> it just always flicked it on its side. Like the shark never swims uh -huh. in a straight line. The shark has always got. Ah, I remember that. That lean. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's a. There's a. I'm surprised no one ever talk about it. But I think I think that's the scene that they would be show that they show now. The the shark is on the side. And it moves really quick and and like replace itself straight straight up, but it's really weird the way uh, the the shark like flip. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's it. That's it. That's the scene. <laughs> so weird. There you go. <laughs> I can't get the balance on. <laughs> <laughs> The star is drunk. 
No, flip it the other way. No, that's too much. Just look drunk. Then these buttons ain't working, man. You you work the controls then. And look so bad, they just say the hell with it, man. Sometimes they just they just let the shark just sit there and just float in some scenes. Oh, oh, man. Oh, oh. That looks so like bad. Fish in the water. It sure does. It looks like when your fish died in the in, yeah. in the in the fish bowl. He's yeah. just about to turn upside down. Yeah, yeah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> now, I've, I've been announcing it, but I'm going to announce it again, that we have sold out all of our highest tier tickets for Double Toasted Live in Brooklyn, New York. That's going to be April 1st, 8 p.m. at the Roulette Intermedium for a night of comedy, some games to play with y'all. Going to get that after party together. I already start talking to some people about that and more. Now, here's why I say get that all access pass and you can get all those nice perks with it, but they're all sold out. So no perks for you. And I would move you over to the VIP tickets. Guess what? Gone too. Gone too. Mm -hmm. I think there might be a couple left. Last time I saw there was four. Oh. But that was like two weeks ago. Ooh. So I think, I think they might be gone. You can go in there and try, but those are gone. I told y'all, New York comes through. New York always gives us mm -hmm. plenty of love. Yep. New York shows up, man. New York represents. So you still got plenty of those general admission tickets to get in there, though, and that's still going to be fun. You know, I get out there and meet everybody. We get out there and talk to the people mm -hmm. and whatnot. You'll still have a great time, but New York has a tendency to sell out. So get your tickets now. While it's still out there, as you can see, I mean, we already sold out some and we already uh, over half capacity. Get your tickets by going to x1entertainment.com. That's the letter X, the number one, the word entertainment.com slash double dash toasted. You can also go over to double toasted.com and get your tickets over there, too. You know, it's funny. Some people say it was a fish that changed cinema, man. Mm, Jaws. That's right. Mm -hmm. Jaws, that big gray white end up being a great white home for Hollywood, man. <laughs> you know, it's uh <laughs> da -da 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 -da. but it That's was nice. uh but yeah, yeah, this is the movie that a lot of people say, you know, a lot of people talk about Star Wars, but they say, hey man, don't 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 mm -hmm. forget that fish though. No. This is Universal's extraordinary motion picture version. Oh, that movie made people scared to put their hand in the sink. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot of mm -hmm. people just went weeks being dirty. They didn't want to get no water at <laughs> right. all. They want to take a bath. They want to take a shower. <laughs> I love that clip that Roy Schotter just doesn't give a f Imagine if they would have watched the movie Ghost Shark at that time. I mean, it's a, it's a really bad movie, but uh, yeah, the fact that it can... It can manifest into any kind of uh, body of water it's kind of <laughs> even crazier than just you know the ocean <laughs> yeah he's over he's it he's just tired of it just tired of <laughs> go ahead, it no, go ahead. yeah but Jaws is a classic 1977 I believe mm, was it 70, 1975 uh, yeah, it was almost 1975 yeah, I it was earlier because Star Wars I think is 77 yeah. so Star Wars 77 if we have so we're really thinking about it Star Wars yeah blew everybody away but that shark really was, was the one that created the blockbuster. That's right. Also, now That's if you it. know Jaws, you know, it's a New England town. Everything's pretty peaceful. Everything's pretty cool. It's a small place. You know, everybody minds his own business. And then a shark shows up and just starts tearing that town apart, man. Just, you know, out of nowhere. And that town is stupid anyway. Yeah. You know, they... <laughs> You know what? My man told me to stay out the water. I need to teach him a lesson. They'll learn to listen next time. <laughs> yeah, I bet they will. I bet they stay there. Did they know? When you think about it, I'm actually the hero of the film. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I've never seen a movie just about a fish scare people just with the soundtrack. You go up behind people. Do -do -do. Right. Quick so complain. Yeah, you quick complain. Yeah, yeah. I mean. You'll be on dry land. You won't be anywhere near water. You talking about do do people? Where that shark? Is? Land shark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> is he here? Do -do -do -do. Yeah, people. It was uh, such a phenomenon. It even had board games and, mm -hmm. and oh yeah, uh, and and toys. Yep. I remember when Jaws came out. It was crazy because they had a whole bunch of Jaws toys. It was a bunch of just a bunch of rub rubber sharks. And they, it was just like in the, in the in TV shows and movies where they have in the center of the store this stand where they have all the toys set up. And people went in and bought 
most of those sharks up in an hour, in about you know a couple of hours or something, man. Well, I mean, it was such a phenomenon. Sharks were just the thing to where there were two Saturday morning cartoon series based on sharks. Sure, were. at the same time. Yep. Yeah. You know, I say they should they should have quit, but after this movie, because you know, spoiler alert, um, they killed the shark. All right. I mean, sorry if you haven't seen the movie that's over forty years old, but you know, hey. It's not a spoiler, but it's no, when no, it came no, out in 1935. Yeah. No. So, they no, killed they, it they, they four times. The shark. But the reason why they couldn't stop is because, well, that shark had a Supposing lot of Supposing it's the, suppose the <laughs> shark had a lot the of same family. Or from the homies. same family. Had a, lot, or a lot of homies and had a lot of crew. <laughs> and they said, listen, you mess with one of us, you mess with all of us. And that's where you get the tagline for this movie, now it's personal. And Jaws, the revenge. He killed Sean, I knew with absolute certainty it had come for him. I knew that. Yeah, yeah. I'm oh, oh, I got some for your ass. Yeah. When I was a kid, I see, I saw that uh, the first kill of the movie. And yeah, I think that's what uh, stick to me the, the most. It's really... It's really su sudden, and even if uh, if you rewatch the movie, it's kind of weird because you you see the blood before <laughs> the the shark show itself, but uh, at the time it was kind of creepy and uh, scary. So I was a kid also. So, so kind of looks like Jaws, right? It may have scarred me I mean, even if the movie is a lot of things, people. Uh, <laughs> Really you bad. Know, I mean, for one, it, you know, I don't want to listen. It's best that we just kind of reveal things as they go along instead of telling the, 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 the whole plot. Now, if you do know the plot of this or you have seen the movie, whatever, you know what I'm talking about. But uh, I really have to say that this is one of the most ridiculous movies. I, 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 I say this about a lot of things, but as far as a Hollywood blockbuster crazy. goes, where they are so desperate to like keep the property out there. This has got to be the most, the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. I mean, I, 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 the, I, the, 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 the lack, the, 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 the lack of logic that went into this, the, or just the piles of cocaine that went into this, man. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the, <laughs> there, there's a lack of logic in the premise. Mostly the movie is just kind of like, okay, whatever. That last 30 minutes, holy shit. Oh, dude. yeah. That, <laughs> I, these are people who did not give a about anything except getting it out there and making money. Does it have Jaws in the title? Who gives a shit? Do whatever you want. <laughs> Just put it out there. They'll see it. But this doesn't mean I don't care. I'm high right now. I'm out of my mind. And I... And we, and I and my back is against the wall. <laughs> I'm about to be fired. Get that damn shark movie out there. Right. They, they keep asking me every day now. now come on, y'all. Yeah, <laughs> just get this, this action now. What I thought was, was funny is I'm thinking, all right, when I read up on this movie, it's going to turn out that like, yeah, they got their budget slashed and they couldn't do this. And it's like, no, nah, they gave them the money. It just looks cheap. They just gave them so whatever they wanted, man. I'm sure half that money went up somebody's nose. It must have. Because it, it ain't on the screen. Our anus or however they do cocaine, but, you know. I know. So they've been killing sharks for, for I guess, three movies now. We're on the fourth one. And with this movie right here, you got one shark who said, Enough! <laughs> Tired of this shit! <laughs> Something has to be done <laughs> for familia, <laughs> me familia, la raza. <laughs> I'm going to take care of this. I just love it. He's like, the problem this whole time has been that family. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Not just you. Yes. You know. <laughs> yes. People, the shark even says, y'all think I would know. I'm not the villain they are. I'm the hero of this shit. It just took y'all four movies to realize it. But that's going to change today. Because today I'm about to put in some work. And this is going to end now. It, that, that shark said, you know what? Our people will continue. Our kind will continue to die as long as that family still exists. Uh -huh. I must destroy this lineage right here. But we'll get into that. So. They just want to feed, man. Let's see how we start this. This has one of the other reasons why this movie is so popular. 
uh, is, is is made fun of so hard is because it has Michael Caine. This is one of the this is one of the movies where people finally looked at Michael Caine and said, "Damn, you'll do anything." Yep. You know this this he said you know I, this is uh, for Michael Caine. This has not been his first killer animal movie. You know he's he's done at least one before. The Swarm. By an enemy far more lethal than any human force. Starring yeah, old star Michael Caine. Cocaine, Catherine. Oh, but what did I say? Cocaine? Yeah, my, <laughs> Michael, Michael Cocaine. Michael yeah. needs some cocaine. Yeah. He needs a Might as well. <laughs> yeah, my cocaine. <laughs> yeah, that's the movie about killer bees, y'all. The swarm. But the 70s, they were crazy about killer animal movies, yeah. man. Uh, I mean. But those bees ain't got nothing on this shark right here. Let's go ahead and get into it. There was a movie. There was literally a movie about killing rabbits. So. So. When this movie starts out, it starts out kind of kinky, actually. Uh, you, it sounds like two people uh, getting really turned on while cooking fish and kind of just... <laughs> <laughs> you listen to me, man, I don't know the last time you see this movie, but it's, it sounds like this, this fish is making them really horny and they can't keep their hands off each other. Stop that. Stop what? I'm not doing anything. I can't help myself. Boy, that fish got his dick hard. Yeah, I know, he showed it. <laughs> and, and that product placement got his dick hard, yeah, too. Yeah. Like, they, boy, <laughs> they, that ketchup couldn't be right more than that screen. Yeah. I'm sorry, go ahead. That fish got him horny as hell, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, slapping his shit. Yeah, that macro got him feeling, feeling a little something you right gotta there. Got him playing that grab ass. And, uh, and I was like, damn, who's this fine ass girl he's talking to? Oh, mom! Mom! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, no one is no one is trying to kill y'all. <laughs> it's night walker, night walker all over again. <laughs> what kind of thing? What kind of freaky shit is going on here? I mean, <laughs> stop! I can't help myself. I can't, I can't then, help myself. I mean, you hear that? Slap it! Slap it! Slap it! Ass or whatever. <laughs> you heard that right? I did. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, like, right. stop, like boy. Ooh. Cooking this fish butt naked in here. <laughs> hey, mom. What? Turn around. That's like, oh, shit. This chick must be fine as hell. Oh, mom. Ooh. <laughs> All right. We're going with Tiffany to buy a Christmas fish. Now, mom here is, if you're, if you're a fan of cinema or if you've, uh, you've seen Jaws and you're a fan of that movie and you should be, it's a great film, uh, that character is Ellen Brody, played by Lorraine Gary, who played, uh, 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 what's his name? Uh, Roy Scheider. Roy Scheider. What, what was his name? Scheider. Was Roy Scheider. What was his name in the first, uh, the first movie? Know, was, Brody. Well, I know his last Brody. name was Brody. But it was like mm. Martin Brody or something, but that was his oh, wife. I think, I think that's right. I think Martin Brody was Roy Scheider's name. Yeah. His character's name in the movie. That was his wife in the movie. So now yeah. it's years later, and you saw one kid in the first movie. Now she has a couple of boys. They're all grown up. And that's her talking to her son, Sean, Sean Brody. And Sean immediately, oh, and by the way, there you go. There's Roy Scheider mm -hmm. and Alan Gary right there, back when they were in the first Jaws. As I said, they're all grown up. Sean Brody is all grown up now. And gets on my goddamn nerves. Uh, <laughs> Boy, howdy. I, 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 I know well, I, I got to tell you, man, Sean, um, Sean immediately, the first word out his mouth, he got on my nerves, man. His voice, I hate to pick on this guy, but I mean, first of all, his voice is just extremely annoying. No way, a big one. Ow, shit. Yeah, that's yeah, flavor. He's an annoying person, ble oh, ble God. bleeding all over the salad and all over the food and everything. It's, yeah, it's flavor. That's so when she's like, is it hurt now? <laughs> to get in the kitchen anyway. I can't help it. But it, you know, it's not bad enough that his voice is annoying. With that annoying voice, Sean won't shut up. Oh, Come on, let me I talk to you. Oh. Your grandmother is a slave driver. Tell her to be nice to me. Yeah. Hey, well, that's the big. Will you shut? The I'm trying to have a conversation. Yeah. Here. Would you? <laughs> Go cook that goddamn fish over there. We're trying to have sex yeah, with me. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But Sean's a deputy over in Amity, man. He's a deputy. I can't believe that. Yeah. yeah. You move there, he's a deputy. First thing you do is just start buying firearms. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. You can't do nothing for me. And they give him the shit jobs. Everybody, you could tell everybody just leaves the office, you know, just they don't want to be around him and they just leave. <laughs> they just leave all the shitty things for him to do. <laughs> Hell no. I'm talking yeah. like that. Yeah. So he, you know, the thing is, is like, as you see in uh, thrillers and in horror movies, you know, you know, 
Sean's already dead because Sean was just about to go home. Oh shit! He was just he was he was just about to go home. He was off about to go lay it down to the to the fiance, and they get a call. And there's a call about uh, dock piling. Dock piling is where there's some debris that's blocking the dock right there, and they need somebody to go and fix it. All that. Now, I like the way they have Roy Scheiden back there, who's always there to remind you. Right. Y'all know there's some bullshit, right? <laughs> but look at him. He's looking like, can you believe this shit? <laughs> he's, like, he's looking like, I told him I don't want to be in this movie. I'd be goddamn they didn't find a way to put me here. No, that, that's, that's, a, that's a big <laughs> him. It really Cause, is. Because they tried to get him. He said, Satan himself could not get me in that movie. Yeah. And they were like, okay, uh, well, okay, well, we got well so yeah, they call right. me Satan because yeah. you're going to get in here one yeah. way or another. Good thing the devil gave us this picture, right? <laughs> Which is clearly a headshot. Oh, yeah. And it's so it's so bad. It's like it's like he would just slap a uniform on a headshot. Yeah. It's like ain't no ain't no ain't no sheriff pose like that in the picture. They should don't right. <laughs> right. <laughs> and it'll just keep on drifting till it goes away. Yeah, that's it's a good stuck point. on a channel marker. Good night, Polly. Oh, he don't want to run his mouth now. No, 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 he don't no, want to no, talk. No. She's like, oh, we got nothing to say now. She ain't talking to nobody. No, she, <laughs> she made all that up just yeah, to say <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and what's that they say? E- e- yeah, e- yeah. E- oh, they're going to be there. It's going to be there. Some wood out there. Yeah. Yeah. See. Yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> let me talk to him. No, they hung up already. Yeah. And they just give him, and they just lying to him because they, like I said, everybody, man, I, I, I bet you, I bet you all the, the other the deputies and the sheriff, they're at home chilling right now. Only Deputy Sean out here. They get doing dumb shit because they they lied to him. They say because he's like, well, how come somebody else can't do it? And she, Polly, just make up something. I, 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 just, I don't know. Coast guard's busy and has to be cleared before the fishermen come back. Where's Lenny? After Ben Masters' place, cow tipping. She made that shit up. I know. Ain't nobody cow tipping. Ain't no cows in, in Amity. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's funny. New England. Ain't no cows. Not exactly. <laughs> Where's Lenny? He's out there cow tipping. Yeah, yeah, but that's not a goddamn job. So what, <laughs> yeah, I'm asking you again. What the. Lenny well, Lenny's out there to prevent cow tipping, oh, which he's not oh, doing anyway. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ain't nobody out there doing nothing. <laughs> Who's Lenny? She's like, dead. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that's she, not really his job. Yeah, are you going to do it or not? Shit, you want me to tell the sheriff? <laughs> Again, uh, when he, so when he gets out there to move this debris in the water, we already know something's wrong because we immediately switch to killer vision. And the music. Oh, you get that killer point of view, you know it's on. And of course, the killer is none other than Charles Jr. You know, that editing. It only struck me just now that the show was one who planted the debris in the first oh, place. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, when, but, you, when you see, I already got, man, I already thought all this shit out. I already, I already had the clips and everything saying. Because at first I was joking, but then as ridiculous as this movie is, yeah. I'm like, wait a minute. Now, this is uh, uh, th- this is where we kick off the nonstop ridiculousness of this movie. Mm-hmm. A movie that probably never should have happened, or we're blessed that it did. You know, in a way, yeah. It starts out with this scene of the shark attacking. I want y'all one. I want you to see what's wrong here when it first when we first uh, show the shark attacking. Now the shark just got there, right? Why is there blood already that's in the water blood. before he yeah. attacks? When I said, "Keep my mouth shut," because that's that, that just about to say, "Did y'all know blood already?" The oh, Kool Aid, that, 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 that is the the absolute <laughs> choppiest editing I've ever it's seen. It's horrible. In my life. You don't even know, what's, you don't even know what's happening. Yeah, but I'm looking at this. Why is there blood already in the water before he attacks? It's, does he? Does the shark have gingivitis? <laughs> is he, oh. he have bleeding gums? Did, did he <laughs> cut his teeth while eating debris? I maybe, don't know. Maybe somebody was hanging around before. And the shark is like, I can't have you here warning Sean about yeah, what I'm yeah. about to do. I gotta eat you yeah. first. <laughs> Either way, you might want to explain the shit before you do that. Or, as you said, the editor just doing a shitty job. Because this is probably mm-hmm. this is probably a scene that's put in here after the shark has attacked and he just edited to start mm-hmm. with. Because I don't know why they had nothing better to work with. Are they in a rush? I don't know. Somebody said fuck. Uh, Sean, he has his arm bitten off, but it took me a little while to figure that out. Uh-huh. Oh, 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 God. 
Notice ain't no blood squirting out. No, no. Also notice that Sean's coat got about two sides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and all of a sudden he had a tumor sticking out his side. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, it's, it's, his arm is clearly in there where his missing arm should be. You got, football football like he got pants Yeah, <laughs> looks like it looked like he had his arm in a sling and his yeah. coat was, was slung over. Can I almost like see the scene of the, the Oh, elbow. he ruined my best coat because <laughs> your arm is fine. <laughs> you can you can clear look he's you can see look, this fool's elbow. Yeah, right yeah, yeah. He's choking. Listen, where his where his arm is supposed to be missing. There ain't no blood squirting out no. at all. Yeah, that is a surprising lack of blood for having his arm chewed off. Yeah, and I and plus, I mean this is so th this looks so fake that even he didn't know his arm was missing for a while. He's like, oh, 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 oh shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he goes in. He's had enough playing around. Now to finish the job. Help me! Oh God! Help me! Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. Oh. Oh. Now, now, I will give it to Sean. As annoying as Sean is, and as much as Those I'm... Those little shot. As sadly as I, as I am rooting for the shark right here. And uh, quick I will edits. give it to Sean. Sean, don't go down easy. Sean's a meal that, that does not wash down easily. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! Oh wait, but I shot the clip with a fin and cut it. Dang! Why won't you oh. die? The band here is in. They like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, run his mouth all the time. That just shot talking again. Yeah, yeah. I'm so sick of it. What's happening? <laughs> yeah, I don't, play want, louder, I don't want to hear that shit no more. Oh. Yeah, when you say play louder. Yeah, <laughs> play louder. <laughs> so now you're thinking, man, what a crazy coincidence that Sean, whose family has a history with great white sharks, was killed by a great white shark. Man, that is wild. Or was it a coincidence? Let's look at this. Uh, in comes the other Brody, the other Brody brother. Uh, Michael Brody, who is uh, less annoying, but also has less personality. Uh, when he comes in, you can see, you know, you call it, and I'll give it to him at first. He comes in, it's like, all right, you know, you are, you're mourning, you know, everybody's kind of quiet right now. I, I, I understand. Also, you look different because he was played in with uh, by um, Dennis Quaid in the third movie. Anybody home? Where's mom? So, Alert from Reminders. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. So Michael is uh So Michael is uh, is a little dry, you know, a little not de definitely not as bubbly as Sean was. No. But I, I tell you what, I'll 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 take uh, I'll take that. Yeah. <laughs> Great thing instead yeah. of Sean. I'll take this any day instead of Sean. Anybody home? Cause you know Sean had came in. Boy, what a play ride, man! That was long. Hey, where's mom? <laughs> hey, did mom cook anything to eat? Hey, hey, Boy, I heard that there was another shark attack. Hey, you know Sean wouldn't be Sean wouldn't shut up. Mm -hmm. Sean, Sean would be running his mouth still. <laughs> but but uh, he he goes to console his mom, as he as he should. You know, my, Mama Brody over here. I'm thinking of some. <laughs> maybe, maybe the 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 shark didn't roar. Maybe it was. Maybe it was Sean all along. <gasps> dun dun dun. And she immediately lets lets them know, like, look, I I know what you're thinking, like everybody else. Oh man, what a coincidence! But I'm telling you. That son of a bitch, he targeted us, man. This was this was not a this was not an attack. It was murder. This really is the Godfather. It really is. This was Michael. Believe me, this was premeditated. This was murder. It came for him. What? What? <laughs> it waited all this time, and it came for him. He's like, wait, what the? He's like, he's like, you, are we talking about karma or bad luck? Are we talking about a shark? And it's like, all right, mom, let me give you a Xanax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. To bed. You could be laid out. Yeah, Take your man. meds. We have a history with sharks, but goddamn, don't tell me a shark got a vendetta against us. <laughs> right, right. Sharks don't commit murder. They don't pick out a person. It picked and out it... Sean. It killed your father. Dad died from a heart attack. He died from fear. 
<laughs> Martin Brody, Roy Scheider died just from the fear of thinking about sharks. The man who fought sharks for two movies, uh, probably three. He killed two of them. I don't think he's not in now, but he, the man who fought stayed in that town, fought sharks bravely. All of a sudden, it's like, I can't take this shit no more. <laughs> <laughs> just the thought of a shark. <laughs> I mean, Jabba Jaw came on TV. Oh, <laughs> if that's the case, if the shark, let's let's just let's just think about this. If this shark has it out for this family, if this shark had it out for Sean, how did Sean get out there? And you already said it, man. That means that the shark set this up as a trap. The shark is the one that brought that wood out there. <laughs> that log that we yep. see. He's the one that brought that log out there, man. He's on the phone with the secretary. Shit, I was about right? to say. You, <laughs> <I> was, <laughs> you, 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 took, you took the words right out of my mouth. I was about to say he's the one that he was the one that made the call. Good night, Polly. Have any police department? Hello, I want to report. <laughs> I want to report a piece of log out in the bay real quick, please. Who am I? Yes, I am not a shark. <laughs> Just a concerned citizen. Thank you. Concerned citizen. <laughs> My man's got a, he's got a lot of family to choose from with these Brodies. If it's that personal, he's gonna, he's got, he's gonna be busy for a while because there's a lot of Brodies now to choose from. We already knocked out one. You know, uh, Jaws Jr. already got a list. Cross Sean out. Now he's got. Maybe it's because of uh, Finding Nemo, but I. Uh... Why do I imagine uh, Bruce to have uh, an Australian accent when he talks? The rest of the family to come in and uh, take care of. And uh, as far as the rest of the family, we start to meet them. You know, we, uh, we meet Michael's, my, uh, the Sean's brother. We meet Michael's daughter, who we learned about earlier when they had that phone call and a long piece of exposition where grandma sits down and just and just reads off all of her stats to the audience. I know it's Thea Brody. How many grandkids do I have? I know you can use the phone by yourself. You're a big girl. I'm five years old. Hiya, kiddo. How you doing? Oh, no, is that Uncle Sean's shit? Yeah. Yeah. Click. <laughs> yeah, you're Hello? Right, you're right in my ear with yeah. that. Yeah, gotta go, Grandma. Hey, kiddo. Hello? Hey, Thea. <laughs> Let him but, go, Corey. So right now, I like dead. the way you laid that out because we don't have a whole lot of time on. to think about it. We got a granddaughter. She's five years old. Five years old. <laughs> yeah. We know she's going to be cute as So, tragedy, uh, tragic story behind that girl, oh, too. No kidding. Uh, really? But I'll tell you, man, uh, when that girl shows up, and this is how I know nobody likes Uncle Sean, because she could care less about Uncle Sean when <laughs> she gets there. She don't, care, she don't give a shit about Uncle <laughs> Sean at all, man. Ain't talking about Uncle Sean at all. Oh, you're going to spoil her? That's what grandmas are for. Yeah, grandma keep it full of that yeah, sugar. Yeah, she, yeah, goes yeah. Ask, she goes asking for toys. She goes asking for candy. She ain't asking about Uncle Sean at all. And the one time that she did mention Uncle Sean, she said in a way that I almost sounded happy about it. Uncle Sean is dead, you know. Like a certain phoenix would say to little shit. <laughs> so let's celebrate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. So, so, so we can party on him no more. <laughs> yeah. Uncle Sean's dead, you know. It wasn't like, Uncle Sean is dead. You're like, oh, Sean's dead, you know. Everybody happy? And then was like, Uncle Sean's dead, you know. So now we can all have normal conversations <laughs> and talk for openly and freely and, yeah. and exchange ideas. And Mom is so traumatized. Ellen Brody, she's so traumatized that she just... She just, she can't even stand water now. She said, the hell with sharks. I don't even like water. I hate water. I want you to get out of the water. What? You're like, I'm at a dinner table right now. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm not anywhere near water at the moment. <laughs> he's so incredulous. He yeah. can't believe what what his mama's yeah. saying. Like every yeah, time she says something, he's like, what? Cause, yeah. cause he, he's clear at that point. He's like, all right, my mom's kind of losing it over Sean's death. Right, right. Yeah. I, I got to just give her some leeway. Yeah. But. This is getting out of hand. Right, right sure, now. sure, like, sure. Yeah, I'm not anywhere near water. What the hell are you talking about? I want you to give up that terrible job. Come on, Mom. You can't be serious. Damn right, I'm serious. We're just getting started. We just got our first grant last I don't want you anywhere near the water. Mom. By the way, what's his job? He he's he's a he's an almost PhD major. Like he doesn't have a PhD. He's a, he's studying snails. Okay. They got this pro they got this uh this grant to like tag and study snails, okay. which he doesn't have they, he says if I don't get these 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 snail taggings done, I won't get my PhD. They're like, shouldn't you already have that shit? 
Him and his partner. Yeah, it's like, I don't it's tag all these snails. Yeah, it's like the, well, they got they got a grant to do it. By the way, they've already ran out of money tagging the snails. They just underwater, just putting putting labels on snails, man. I don't, That's I don't tag these snails. I can't yeah. get my PhD. That's what these balls should be like. What? <laughs> he said, that would be a better wait. argument than I don't want you in the water. Yeah. Oh yeah, when you mean this thing I've been studying for <laughs> all this time, my job. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. He's a tagging snails. Tagging snails with his almost PhD. He don't. He don't. He's like, if I don't do this, I ain't gonna, if I don't get these snails, I ain't gonna get my PhD. We said about that. We talk about that for you bullshit because you should already have your PhD. Yeah. <laughs> you, you ain't gonna get it no way. Yeah. <laughs> Stay out the water. Yeah, I ain't gonna. It's not like it's a G, like a GED. Man, if I don't, if I don't get these snails, I ain't gonna graduate. It's like, first of all, you ain't got a PhD. You out here doing this shit anyway, and you got no money. What is this study all about? They got nothing. They already said, man, we ran through all our money, which is why you start freaking out about something else big that happens. But we'll get into that in a little bit. But <laughs> that's stupid, man. Yeah. Or fucked. <laughs> Yeah, mom really hates water at this point, as you heard. She's like, I don't even want you doing that job. I want you going nowhere near water. Put that water uh, down. Put that water down. So they figured that it would be nice to get mom somewhere where she can forget completely water and get that out of her mind. And that place is the Bahamas. What the fuck? Oh, I always wanted to ride one of those. No way. She's like, She's these like, said they were taking me to Kansas. <laughs> she said they were taking me to Kansas. What the fuck? It's yeah, like, you know, not, how about Arizona? It's clear that I did not want to be around water. Hey, like, Bob, look at all the water. I, I hate these people. Yeah. <laughs> I clearly told them I didn't want to go anywhere near water. Now they said they're taking me to the Bahamas. And actually making a point to show me that there, there's water. Hey, look at look down there. Water as far as you can see. As far as the eye can see. Nice, clear blue water. <laughs> hey, Grandma, look at the water. Check it out. Lean way over, too. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> hey, Grandma, hey. Maybe it's like, immersion therapy. <laughs> you're, you're afraid of it, so we, right, right. <laughs> we put you where you, you cannot escape water, <laughs> and you'll get used to it. <laughs> and then we meet, uh, we meet, finally meet Michael Caine, who plays a pilot named Hoagie, who's not helping anybody's tension at, at all with what he's pulling. Oh. What makes the plane go up and down? Oh, that's easy. You go like this, and the houses get bigger. Hey, 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 hey. Man, when that plane landed, <laughs> wouldn't you beat the shit out of him? Yo, yeah. I beat his ass. Hoagie got that charm, man. I know. You know, <laughs> He's Ho the best character. Hoagie, Hoagie could care <laughs> yeah. less that Ellen just had her son murdered by a shark. I mean. He don't waste no, trying, no, no time trying to get to that ass, man. And, oh damn! Yeah, and hey, and hey still think, Michael Caine. I didn't know you gonna say. That. Oh no, he wastes no time trying to get up in that ass. And you think that Mama, you think Mama Brody would be like, you know, he's a nice guy, you know? but it's just not. Right it's just time. not. It's just not time right now. You know, but no, nah, she's down, man. She says, you know what, Sean's been dead for what forty eight hours. <laughs> And she says, you know what? Martin's been dead longer. Yeah. And yeah, my husband dead longer. It's, it's okay to get that penis right now. You know, it's it's what Sean would have wanted. Sean who? What's it cost to take a ride on that plane? The water's coming in. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was right there. <laughs> you were worse than your uncle. You know? <laughs> I love it. That's why they just kick him with his hand. <laughs> oh, my God. Thanks a lot, cock <laughs> <laughs> and we were right there Not too. a bad idea. Was. Not a good <laughs> idea to, to, to lay it down. Green. Smooth line too. But that's Michael Caine. Oh, Hoagie, he ain't gonna let, he ain't gonna let that little breath stop what he got to do, man. <laughs> Shit, he said my game is too strong. He's like, hey, hey, most had watch this. Mistake, watch man. Watch my back footy, bro. Hey, hey, little ho. Look what I'm about to do to your grandmother right here. <clears throat> where was I? Water's coming in. Yeah. Depends on where you want to go. <laughs> oh, yeah. damn. Hey, he oh, he's him. He a picked beat. up right where he left off. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he. Oh, okay. So, yeah. anyway. Yeah, that's cute. Yeah, whatever. It looks like Jaws Jr. followed them all the way to the Bahamas. Now, how do we know? Because my man brought his calling card. Oh, <laughs> He said he set that up and really and how do we y'all are saying man that could be that <coughs> wait, right wait, there, wait, 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 wait 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 no because they made a point to show you that he put those those uh, shark teeth marks in that in that log right there early on in the movie it's the same log That's man the same log, yeah. he wants them to know 
Well, that's why they put the, 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 yeah. the old shot of it. Yeah, yeah. I'm back. That's yep. Yeah, that shark brought that log all the way from New England, man. You're right. He carries that log with him. He carries yeah. that log with Casey him needs all it. the Surprise. way there. I never to let, that. That was his calling card wow. to let them know. Hey, before you see me, you gonna know I'm here. <laughs> he brought that. He so he brought that that wood back. You're thinking like, okay, he showed up. Did he get? Did you say? Did he get tipped off? How does he know that they are there? Okay, even before we ask, how did he know they were there? How the hell did he get there? They flew a plane. That shark got all the way from New England to the Bahamas in two hours and left that log there for them to find before they landed. <laughs> How he got there, I can't tell you. I don't know. Uh, what I can tell you is how he found them, <laughs> like you asked. Now, he, people, are you ready for this? <clears throat> Hear me out now, because here we go. Here's where the real crazy shit starts. How did he know that the family was but there? But he should was already crazy at this point. I feel embarrassed to say this. This is, not even, this is not even my movie. I had nothing to do with this production here. I didn't write shit on this. And I'm still, I still hesitate to say these words. But it turns out the shark was able to find them because the shark has a telepathic psychic connection to mom. You're looking what? at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> the proof. Is right here. Oh yeah? How big? What's wrong? I feel a shark oh, I feel yeah, shark yeah, energy yeah. on me right now. <laughs> and you hear that music too, that yeah. sound. That, 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 that psychic music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, that's like <laughs> Obi-Wan when uh Alderaan blew up. Yeah, <laughs> you sure is. I feel sar I feel shark vibes. <laughs> I feel I don't know what it is, but I feel shark energy going on. You think I'm playing? You think I'm reading into this? No. She's got a psychic connection with that shark. It's some X-Men shit going on or something. Like the moment she touches the water, she's like, he's here. <laughs> and you'll be Princess Di, and we'll have a parade with horses. Like Cinderella, to ball, He's here. <laughs> she felt it. I know. Yeah. You think I'm bullshit? Like her and that shark got the shining, man. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not both. They they have a psychic connection going on. I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe that's why the shark is trying to kill the family because he's trying to get with mom. He's like, shit, we have we we got something. I love that every time. So Michael Caine keeps getting cop blocked by. He got his dick in his hand like, God damn. <laughs> shark said yeah. again. So, somebody said the sharking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You got that right. It makes no sense. Like I said, I didn't write it. I'm embarrassed to say it, but somebody wrote a movie. With a shark singling a family <laughs> out with a vendetta to murder them one by one, who's also psychic. From New England to the Caribbean. Who can teleport from New England? This motherfucker worse than Michael Myers, man, or, or Jason Voorhees. You know what I'm saying? This shark is, 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 is serial killer level now. <laughs> I mean, at least Freddy Krueger could, you know, travel through your dreams and yeah. shit. It's Oh, this is like, look, I'm gonna take a left at Albuquerque yeah. and then go over to the sandbar <laughs> and I'll be over there and then, then straight on to the Caribbean. Or I'm just gonna clap my fans and I'm gonna be in Bahamas before they even are. The shark should be wearing a goddamn hockey mask or a William Shatner mask or something at this point. Or a jetpack. Uh, je yeah. <laughs> he can swim really, really fast. <laughs> the only thing He's that is more powered. unbelievable than that, and people are like, really? What? Huh? Yes, people. The only thing that's more unbelievable than that. Is Mario Van oh, Peebles' accent in this movie? Will you stop farting around, Michael? What the hell are you doing down there? Michael, what the hell are you doing down there? Farting around, farting around, Michael. What the hell are you doing? Jake, stop busting my chops. Listen, you remember what they look like? Move your ass, man. Mom. Oh my God. So is this? Mario Van Peebles or is this Super Mario Van Peebles? <laughs> oh my God, I know. Because <laughs> he was going with, he was, he was, he was doing a bunch of accents. He was right all he was. over the place. Yes. Well, uh, they let him write his own dialogue. Mario Van Peebles plays Jake, his uh, his assistant, who's also, I guess, trying to get his PhD going out there tagging snails. You know, man, <laughs> Michael is tricking Jake. <laughs> like, yeah, you do this with me, and you can have a PhD too. Yeah. Thanks, Mon. But, but I've, never, I've never been to college. I know, but they'll just give them to you. Just you, you, you PhD. 
They, they, I ain't never a bumble clot. I ain't never been to college, man. I'll be the first in my family, man. I'll be the first in my family. And all I have to do is tag the, tag the snails, man. Really? That's Stop passing around. Oh. <laughs> I tag these nails. I tag these nails. Get my diploma. 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 I will not fail. I tag these nails. Under the sea. <laughs> Michael just lost his brother. His brother was his brother was the 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 target of a of a shark assassination and. And so he comes out, and he's yeah, another person. Sneaking. Jake's another person that could give a shit less about Sean or Michael or anybody's problems. You go away, you leave me high and dry, do all the work by myself. Right down to the tracks. acting like a zombie. It's Christmas Eve, we're working overtime because of you. He's like, you know my brother just got murdered by a shark. Do you understand that, right? He's also like, I'm sorry, where are you from? <laughs> God damn, Holy boy, you ain't shit. never lied but that accent going in now. Go ahead. Lynn Winfield ain't no better. So there's a there's a moment here where I thought, oh, shit, because uh, early on in the movie, mom, Ellen Brody, who's scared of water, she decides to actually go out in the water and they tear her ass up, man. That shark finds her and they kill her early on in the movie, man. Shark tears that ass up. <laughs> you love me, mom. <laughs> Dream sequence. <laughs> oh, give me you... You cheaters! Hey man, you didn't even see her actually getting bitten. You just saw legs flashing. And but they showed her. They set it up where you show. They showed her oh, face. Oh, I know. And they show her getting the water. And then they show you know all this right here. And I thought, damn, that was bold. All right, you know if this movie has nothing else. It did that. And then he pulled that shit right there. And I was like, man, get the hell out of here. Right, right. Cheating. And it's the same editing as, as when yep. her son gets eaten. I mean, yeah. No, no. That I, one looked actually more like she was getting eaten than the, than his I, death scene. I'm convinced that the, the editing is choppy and there's not that much death <clears throat> because <clears throat> they just couldn't get past how fake the shark looks. Uh, yeah. Hey, hey, the, the, the shark that Batman sprayed with, bat, with shark <laughs> repellent looks more realistic. <laughs> yeah, this is, this, this is stupid. Y'all, I was. Right, I was right, shark. I was uh yeah, I was pissed because I thought you know yeah the editing's bad, you know the, 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 there's not been a lot going on this has been dumb as hell but at least they 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 killed what I thought was a major character. <laughs> if anything, it just set up how much that shark got in her head, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shark giving her a nightmare. <laughs> oh, I'm shit. coming for you. She's she like, where's my mom grass at? You <laughs> are dad grass if you so will. Which they make mom and dad grass at this point because nobody's sexist here today, you know. Sharky they Kruger. Nobody wants to get canceled or sued over here. But he comes people, for you in I want to go in and share with you a quick word from our sponsor. I want to thank Dad Grass for sponsoring this part of the show here. And the reason why I want to talk about Dad Grass is because <clears throat> we've talked about we've talked about edibles here on the show before. Sure. And the thing now, before anybody messes with us about this, talking about oh y'all, y'all out there dealing drugs and oh you doing you know you being you getting shady now with these, these these products. No people, stop, stop, stop being uptight. YouTube, do not mess with us about this. Dad grass is one hundred percent legal smokable hemp, and it's just meant to just relax your mind, help you mellow out. Low in THC, but high in that CBD, which means you just get to sit back. And enjoy it all. Get enjoy that feeling with a clear head. As you know, I told you before, I can't handle anything strong out there. I'll be sitting up there looking goofy as hell. <laughs> or I'll be asleep. I will not be good company either way. You either want to understand what I'm talking about, or I won't be listening to you anyway, because I'll be knocked out. But I've tried several dad grass and mom grass products over here, and uh, they've been very nice. And they do have a lot of products at this point. They even got treats for your dog, man. They got CBD <laughs> dog treats. So you can sit up there and enjoy the feeling with your best friend. So does it become dog grass? Dad grass products, no matter whether you're getting the gummies, the tinctures, which is another thing that I would take every oh, now and then. It does. Just take a little I, dab I and, from the bottle and put it under your tongue. A little dab will do you. A little dab will do you good, man. You know, all their products are federally legal for ages 18 and over, and it ships right to your door. Go to dadgrass.com slash toasted and get 20% off your first order. Uh, that puts you in a good mood, and that puts yourself in a better mood. 
Go get some of that dad grass over there. I'm mom grass. And get some for Sparky too. A little old Sparky. <laughs> Sparky. Yeah. He wants to feel good too. I want to thank Dad Grass for sponsoring this portion of the show. And of course, I want to thank all of you out there for your support. Thank you. Uh, as I said, man, most of this movie is just filler. Uh, they just, <clears throat> after they get uh, to a certain point. Not wrong. They start doing things that have nothing a lot of, to do uh, with this shark the at all. Nothing. Most of the movie is filled with uh, <clears throat> Michael Caine as Hoagie just trying to. But like Martin Michael's said, mom. Uh, <laughs> usually just telling bad jokes. They wear, uh, I said to him, where's your disinfectant? Aware of the low quality of the shark. Can you tell the joke inside? <laughs> Makes <laughs> sense of the. I mean, the house trying right to there. fit yeah, in with the. Yeah. Oh, no. so Boring stuff. I'll tell you what we'll do. Come back at lunchtime. All the flies will be in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, and I like, I love Michael. Oh, yeah. I'm going to kill that. <laughs> Michael outside just stalking. Just, yeah. look, just looking at the, at, uh, at Michael Caine, a, a hoagie trying to push up on his mom. <laughs> and that's the other part of the movie right here, man. <laughs> So creepy. Yeah. You can't put a shirt on a stock. You gotta take right. a shirt off to look at it all weird. I, I hope you're wearing pants right now. <laughs> Grown ass man, mad because his because his mama got a boyfriend. And we knock off that stupid drumming. Hard, boy. Watch it. Watch boy, it. Boy, look at you, man. Get black and tickling the sunset. What's wrong with you anyway, Pop? You think because you you've been to university now you're smart? Watch it, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other just just hate, man. But that you know, but no, you know, that's that's not important, man. You know. The, the whole shark thing, because he's over here. <laughs> he's over here worried about his mama. He's over here worried about his mama dating the guy. Meanwhile, you just got attacked by a great white shark. Oh yeah, how big? <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, this big. This big. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. God, this shark big. who is taking out your family. That's what you're not worried about. You worrying about your mama having a boyfriend. You're worrying about your grown ass mama. Your grown ass worry about your yeah, grown yeah, ass yeah. mom. Your grown ass worry about your grown ass mom out here doing what she got to do. And it's funny too because, I mean, he's, he's she's childish with this. He's like, I ain't worried about this shark. I'm trying to protect my mom from this wolf. And she, <laughs> and he, he just straight. I wonder if they were trying to do the. We need a bigger boat from the first one, but kind of kind of failed this time because in the first one it was a surprise attack and there was no music and it happened so suddenly that uh, it surprised you but in this scene it was like badly edited and with the music and everything it was uh Way it just starts cock blocking. Mm. Like whenever, like whenever Hoagie's around, he starts making his move. Oh, oh, Michael's there to get up and just get in the way. Mind if I cut in? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah get, do. Get your grown ass away from me. <laughs> the world would be a better place if more sons danced with their mothers. You're not gonna beat Michael Caine. No. <laughs> Michael Caine gonna be around the corner. You, he's like, you gotta go home at some point. You gotta go to sleep at some time. Yeah, you sure do. <laughs> him and that shark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, while they're not focusing on the shark, the shark is having all kinds of time to plan and set up traps. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you ain't you ain't gonna beat Michael Kane. You should you should be worried about this shark. Because Michael Kane gonna get his. He, he's too smooth. He's too yep. charismatic. You're not gonna beat Michael Kane. You sure you don't need glasses? I'm a pilot. My vision is perfect. Yeah. You tell you, let your boy taste that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just so you know when you kiss your mom what you taste the yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let him know that old, mm. old hoagie was here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> Man, this movie, it's almost like halfway through. They say, yeah, they, they've been looking at what they, they've been doing. They know what they've been doing. They're like, man, we got nothing. We don't have, we ain't, we ain't got, and we definitely ain't got nothing on that uh, on that original. And so they just start, it's one thing to take clips from the original and put it in as, as flashbacks, uh, but they straight up, this is a sequel that rips off 
its previous movie. There's a scene. If you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. They, they, there's a scene in Jaws, very, fam very famous scene. And this is what the movie's known for. The movie's known for, if you look at Jaws, Jaws is known for the shark. But notice you, ne you hardly ever see the shark. Uh, Jaws is known for just a lot of good character, mm -hmm. a lot of great writing. And there's a classic scene in there where Roy Scheider is uh, having a moment with, with his son. I, I think it was even improvised, where his son is mimicking everything that his dad is doing because his dad is sitting up there stressed out about this whole shark eating people in town. Oh situation. yeah, they re they redid that scene also. Yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> He's like, what? You don't, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are you mocking me? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I'm stressed He's enough. Like, He's like, like, Why don't you take your little ass to bed? <laughs> right. You think this is funny? Yeah. You know there's shark eating people around town, right? And you got jokes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great scene, though. It is. A, yeah, it was, it, it's one of the scenes that, like, I think they they did it the last minute. I've read something I, about that. I think that. it was improvised. Like, you improvised or something. It and, and yeah. It might Spielberg be wanted. it might be an urban myth, but Steven Spielberg was like, "Cut the camera back on and get this." While they while they were doing that, so it's kind of improvised in a way. Either way it goes, it was a, it's a legendary scene, right? Uh, and since this movie said, "Well, since we ain't got shit, let's, <laughs> let's just go ahead and take it." She's like, "They why are they doing this?" You yeah, know, oh, this again. <laughs> yeah, I've seen this already. <laughs> Little girls go. And, and, yeah, and by the way, this is not because they're gonna come back. Well, it's homage. No, you straight up jacked that shit. You that ripped was that homage. Off. You ripped that off completely. Um, For real? I mean, yeah. They finally start because you're saying, man, it's been a significant uh, lack of shark in mm. this movie. <laughs> For in the shark movie, they need to fill in the time. Do as much as this shark is doing. We haven't seen a whole lot of shark. Keep in mind, again, the original Jaws hardly showed you any shark. Shark named Bruce. They hardly showed you that, mainly because the shark malfunctioned. Right, it was which, never working. Yeah, right. which is, it ended up being the biggest asset to that movie because uh, it scared people. Because people put, you know, they 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 filled in a lot with their imagination. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the shark, to be honest with you, probably looked like shit. Well, that's what Steven Spielberg said. He's yeah. like, I'm glad we didn't use it because it looked faked in a month. Looked like shit. <laughs> yeah. This movie said that ain't gonna stop us. <laughs> Hold my beer. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> that looked like, that damn shot like a Mardi Gras flow. Yeah, it did. Yo, so yeah, oh my God, you're right. It did. It did look like, yeah, like a bunch of people under it. Yeah, it's like, huh, <laughs> paper mache underwater. You got that to work. Yeah, yeah wow. <laughs> that shark is so pitiful. It's, it even makes, it makes it makes it makes painful noises. It's, it's just, it's, it's, it's in so much pain, it's just sad. It just makes sad noises. Listen to it. Kill me. Right, yeah. it shouldn't exist. That damn, <laughs> I'm an abomination. That damn shark is so pitiful. It's just in pain. It's just making noises, painful noises. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's funny because the shark, the shark sw swims like it's talking about Mardi Gras. Shark swims like it's been there. Shark swims like it's just drunk. <laughs> it just always flicked it on its side. Like the shark never swims uh -huh. in a straight <laughs> line. The shark has always got that lean. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! There you go. <laughs> you can't get the balance on. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Shark is drunk as shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, no, flip it the other way. <laughs> no, that's oh. too much. <laughs> Wait for me, bro. Oh, man. You, you work the controls then. I need it looks to so eat bad, you. They just say the hell with it, man. Sometimes they just they just let the shark just sit there and just float in some scenes. Oh, <laughs> oh, <man>. uh -oh. <laughs> that looks like a dead fish in the water. It sure does. does. It looks like when your fish die in the, in, yeah. in the, in the fish bowl. He's yeah. just about to turn upside down. Yeah, huh? yeah. yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> the reason, so th this is the reason why they don't have a lot of death in the movie. The reason why is because the shark is targeting this family. So that means, and, and we ain't gonna kill this family. So that means the shark doesn't have a lot of people to kill. But they did, they, they, the movie, and I, you know, in the movie, they, they, like when I tell you there's a lack of shark death in here, that shark eats more vehicles than he eats people. Sure, he developed a, uh, developed a taste for it. Yeah. yeah he, the, he only eats people for murder. 
Yeah, no, yeah, you don't need it for nutrition or anything. Eat scrap metal for nutrition. Well, you know, by <clears throat> eating the metal, it, it feeds his, his own mechanical parts. <laughs> <laughs> That fuel the, the shark rocket. eats a shark eats a uh, eats a boat. <laughs> shark shark just Chew after the styrofoam after after yeah, yeah after on, he eats man. the boat he goes on and eats a plane. The plane. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! They killed Michael Caine. This is Jaws of Revenge. If they didn't kill this bride right here, you know they didn't kill no. Michael Caine. So they paid him way too much money. Yeah, he's he's one of the main stars in the movie. Michael Caine, Michael Caine is 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 fine. <laughs> hey, give me a hand here for <laughs> How the what? hell you do that, man? It wasn't easy, believe me. He no, su- no explanation. Yeah, he survived. Yeah. Don't ask how. Just know. It wasn't easy. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he was like, it was clearly off screen, so don't ask me, all right? <laughs> The sharks, the sharks said, "Look, I might not look the best. Even his shirt, I'm not fried. eating a lot of people, but God so damn he's it, okay. somebody, somebody got to get eaten. I've been going through this whole movie, ain't killed nothing but one, but one dumbass. Y'all came here to see somebody die. Now, he goes to the, uh, he, he tracks him down. He says, you know what? Uh, ain't nobody else getting in this water but that little girl. But shit, I can't eat her." So he goes for the babysitter instead, because <laughs> they ain't gonna kill a little girl first of all in this. And plus, she's a Brody, so. You know, if you, the next person in line, if you're behind her or if you're her babysitter or nanny or whatever, then you're the one that's got to go. <laughs> that woman's like, yeah, I'm the one yeah, getting yeah. eaten. What yeah. are you talking about? Nobody gave a shit about her. None. They, no. they were all about saving themselves or screaming for the little girl. And this is one of those movies where somebody sees the person they love being attacked <laughs> and they scream and they reach the hand out but they don't actually take one step nope. over towards them. Oh, yeah, ain't going no, nowhere. Yeah. No, no, no Ooh, do somebody yeah. do something. <laughs> hey, hey, shit, somebody do something. Somebody besides me. Yeah. Boy. Do something, bitch. And that shark was gonna eat this, was gonna eat uh, uh, Michael's wife, but he's like, nah, that bitch overacts too much. I'm like, nah, that's yeah, right. Right. she ain't gonna go down easy either. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mom decides to go out and and and, and Take on the shark herself. Woman the shark. Enough is too much. Come and get me, you son of a bitch. Which is another reference to the original, but okay. Yeah. You, you got that one. Though. She grabs the boat, goes out there, and starts talking shit to the shark. Talking yeah. shit? Yeah, talking shit. You, get on plane and you know the shark got a, a, a psychic link with you, so he knows what you're thinking. So you go out there in your boat to like take on this shark. Okay, now what? She had no plan. No she, plan. She got out there and didn't do a goddamn thing. <laughs> yeah, she got out there, and then when the shark attacked, you're like, oh, why is he doing this? Yeah. <laughs> and, I, and I beg the differ. You said it happened in the original. It was cool when it happened in the original. That part was cool. Yeah, not, yeah. Not, yeah, not yeah, like I didn't this. say this was cool. I just said it happened. <laughs> it, that line was in the original. No, I don't even say it was cool, but no. I just throw that out there. No. I don't want the wrong goddamn idea. No, not at all. Go out there. <laughs> Come get me. All right. What? Oh, shit, he's coming to get me. Oh, shit, he's coming to get me. <laughs> what, you about to take off your earrings and heels and start going yeah. at it? But when we finally do get a showdown with this shark, <laughs> that's stupid, too. They start going into it with... Uh, and they start trying to fight the shark with just the dumbest shark logic. No, it's gonna come to the plane. It's attracted to the electromagnetic impulse of the metal on it. Get the bloody hell out of here! That's exactly yeah, what yeah, I, yeah, said. Yeah. I said. Yeah. Except my What do you one. mean? I, I thought yeah. it was an attract yeah. to you yeah, guys. Yeah, when he spotted that, I was like, based on what? <laughs> Nothing! <laughs> based on the same science they have where the shark can teleport and connect psychically with human beings. It's like, at, at that point, and transport that's when I knew, lugs. Like, that, that whole research thing they're doing. It's nothing. It's, it's going not, nowhere. It's th- none of this. The they yeah, they have no this. clue. It's yeah. like, oh, it's attracted to the, ma- the electromagnetics of the, the plane. What? No. <laughs> Never. Never. It's attracted to the electromagnetics yeah. of the plane. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't need no PhD to understand that. That's stupid. That makes no sense. The shark was attracted to the ultramagnetic uh, uh, waves. No, there, there ain't no book about sharks out there that says that shit. Okay, none. <laughs> then uh, Jake, Mario Van Peebles' uh, character, he had some device used for tracking the shark earlier. Just a tracking device that comes out of nowhere. Yeah, that comes out of nowhere. But then later on, 
the goddamn device turns into an Apple Watch or a Fitbit because then it can start yeah. tracking. Jesus <laughs> it's come, this, they didn't make this for this. The, 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 the device just ends up tracking the, the, the shark's health and fitness because it starts, it starts reading his, his, uh, his heartbeat. Uh -oh. <laughs> what is that, Seth? That's the shark's heartbeat. No, what? That, that was not, that, it did not do that. <laughs> Jake, stop. <laughs> That's the shark on me. You are you gonna help Let's or not? No sense. Shut the fuck up <laughs> at all. <laughs> no, it's it not. Great to have a scene where Hoagie looks at Michael and Michael looks back at him and goes, "No, no. <laughs> don't, 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 don't. Nah. That's, that's Plan A. That's <laughs> <laughs> would have been funny. And you could, yeah. These two, th these, these are the dudes out there getting their PhDs. <laughs> Dumbasses. So you ain't gonna be surprised when uh, Jake gets that thing gets eaten. One, cause cause Jake is is finally it's just time for his black ass to die because right, yeah. he he because, lasted too long as it is. Yeah, you lasted way too long, it's man. Really. You and the two other brothers. Now it's time to go. You know, and 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 you a dumbass, man. So yeah, you really gotta go. Okay, let me just stop right here and also say that there are moments where. The, this this shark can hardly swim in the water. You saw he was just can keep his balance, as Martin said, and was just all flicking and sideways. But when he gets when he gets on on, on top of water, boy, he's almost he's almost Jesus. He's Dr. J. He's, uh -huh. just, yeah, yeah. he's almost walking on water. I mean, he just he almost levitates when he comes out. Yeah. Damn, that shark looks fake. Yeah. Look, uh, uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> ain't like, yeah, well, <laughs> oh, you don't care. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't like, hey, as long as it wasn't a chick yeah. I was trying to hit on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Michael loves Jake more than his wife. <laughs> and the craziest part the craziest the part. craziest part of this showdown is that now that that shark has had a nice dinner of fake bahamian meat <laughs> shark now, he's energized now he's feeling it was almost it's almost like pop out because once he ate that brother he came out the water roaring roaring like a lion or t-rex that, that was the oh sound God, effect used for the monster's dragon or dog under the stairs. Oh, really? oh wow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and it, orig it originated from a Tom and Jerry cartoon. Oh. That, that, that damn shark is roaring like something out of yeah. Jurassic Park. I learned that from uh, the book. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shark my God. It's roaring, Billy. Ro bellowing. Roaring. Yeah, whoever the sound designer was, they were like, we need you to come up with a roar for the shark. Yeah. And he was like, what? that's stupid, what? I'm not doing yeah. that. Sharks don't roar. Yeah, and they were like, we, we need it though. He's like, I'm not gonna do that. So they just clipped that old sound effect from the, the, monsters. the monsters and stuck it on. <laughs> for, the, for the dragon pet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah spot. So yeah, spot. And, he, and here's the real 100% absolute part of this movie. <laughs> Like I said earlier, what if it's Sean that was roaring? <laughs> That's crazy, but you know. <laughs> they said if a shark can swim to the Bahamas from New England in two hours, if he can teleport there, if the shark can have a psychic connection with a human woman, if the shark can levitate above water, if the shark can sing aloud every family member for murder, Systematically, if a shark can roar, then why not when a shark is stabbed, he explodes? explodes. Mm. Smile, you son of a bitch. Oh, what the? The shark didn't eat a bomb. They never mentioned that the shark had any explosives in him. The shark didn't, didn't drink a, 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 a container of gasoline or anything. No, the shark just got pierced and blew up okay, for no reason. Okay, because I thought I missed something. I was like, all right, did, did they say something about that that thing that Jake shoved in his belly no. had a bomb? Yeah, that's it, what I was thinking no. for a second. No, no. There, was, there wasn't a stick of dynamite at the end of the thing that stabbed him. The device didn't have 
The device had no explosive device explosive on it. Properties. No, the movie, and this is no bullshit. The movie said, you know what? It's a Just recut. stabbing them. It That's wasn't boring. that way. At the, we got to have something first. bigger. Got blown up. Blow, but, it, but, but it doesn't make it. Don't we? This is movie business, right? People want to be excited. They don't care about the how and then why. They just want to see it his and blow up. his ass up. And what was it that said? That's why this shit is edited crazy. Uh-huh. Because they went back and, and made him explode. Yeah. Shit, there's even a point here. If you look at it, they don't even... Let me find the, let me find the picture. The shark doesn't even get stabbed in the spot that you see him getting stabbed in before. <laughs> look at this right here. Oh. They got him straight up in his heart. Oh, yeah. in the before it was on the side of the gill. Right, right. People, look at this. This shit is edited all kind of terrible. Smile, you son of a bitch. They stabbed in the side. Now look, see? Yeah. Cut to <laughs> between the two. Yeah. One in the heart, one in the lung. One mm-hmm. in the heart, one in the lung. Hey, if a shark can explode, then why can't Mario Van Peoples come back? is that possible that this man came back? We saw him getting torn in half by that shark. No, you thought you saw him getting torn in half. What you actually saw was his obvious, his obvious double right here. Right, right. That's clearly a stuff. That is clearly a white dude right there. Yeah. That, is, that is not him. Huh. And I think you can even see the, I think, I think they meant for it to be the stick he was holding before he died, but I think that's the stick controlling the puppet right here. If you look at it. <laughs> oh, yeah, the stick. Oh, yeah, my yeah, God. That's that stick maneuvering that puppet, man. Is, is that, like, so they show that there's a flashback to show how he survived? No, no, no that's me. Oh, that's when he got chomped down. Yeah, yeah. yeah, when he got chomped, yeah. Yeah, he got, when he, he got pulled in the water. <laughs> Yeah, that's clearly not yeah, him yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, this is very much not him. Uh, but yeah, you see it like, okay, it's a double, but uh, it's like, wow, they they finished him off. Okay. And then he just comes back like, hey, guys, everything's cool. Come help me. Like, yeah. what? Focus group. That's out. I think they liked him so much that people said, oh, you shouldn't have killed him. They're like, oh, okay, we won't. <laughs> <laughs> he just brought him back. Yeah. What? They and did, case did some reshoots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They just did some reshoots and he, yeah. he came back and somebody said in the chat said he came back and said, hey, one number to flesh room. Yeah, strap in. I mean, two two things they took out of it of the movie. One, they were gonna make Hoagie a, a drug runner also. But mm-hmm. then they were like, ah, maybe that's too much. Um, would have actually made it better. But no, uh, something that they had written originally <clears throat> and even shot and then decided not to do, but it's in the novelization, is that the shark um, had been cursed with a voodoo. I read that, and they and took that, that out. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, it yeah, was going to be voodoo. It, yeah. Voodoo was the explanation right. of why the shark was going after them personally. And had, I guess, the magic powers mm-hmm. to get to the Bahamas. Yeah, well, they, they cut that out of the movie, though. And even if, that would have just made it silly. But they, I know. Well, I know. They, but they said they, they kept that Maybe that would explain the, the psychic powers. Because <laughs> even there was that scene with Michael and his mom, and he was like, oh, are yeah. you still talking that voodoo? That voodoo, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, no, yeah. I read that today that they had that they, they were talking about voodoo, and they took it out. But yeah, that, that ain't no winning with this. No. <laughs> no. But I was just like, That's, wow, you, you actually could have made this dumber. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you managed I like not the way to. You Say, I'm gonna make this more sense for you right now. It's like, that don't make no more sense. That's crazy. And then you're right, there's somebody yeah. like, somebody's like, there's no winning. Just, just leave it out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, I, 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 in, I didn't mean it like, oh, well, once you hear this, and all the pieces will fall together. Yeah. <laughs> the pieces just fell apart now. Yeah. It makes sense. Thanks yeah. a lot. That's crazy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's super good. Super good. Yeah. Uh,. Really cool episode. Uh, yeah, it's a bad movie, but like I said, uh, it's renting free in my brain for uh, as long as I remember. So, but yeah, it's really bad <laughs> when you think about it. The psychic stuff. The the roar, the, the the plot of the shark and following the and plotting the the death 
of the <laughs> of the family members and yeah, crazy. But uh, I just remembered also uh, one one of their episode that I really love. Uh, because the, mo- the movie is super bad, but uh, it's a movie that I kind of watch way too much uh, at one point in my life, and it's The Pest with John Leguizamo. The review is super funny. If you haven't seen it, I re- really recommend it. Super funny. And yeah. I just remembered that <laughs> it just popped in my head, and oh yeah, it was a good, a good, a good episode. Um, yeah. So, it's been one hell of a video, that's for sure. One hour, fifteen minutes. Wow. Okay. Probably one of my longest reaction video. Even uh, I definitely have one of the nostalgia, nostalgia, <laughs> nostalgia critique that is long, but not that long. But anyway, uh, every double toasted videos are about that time. So yeah, it's no surprise <laughs> if you if you are uh, familiar with the. Uh, the channel you know how it goes and yeah but it's really fun so it passed by really fast and yeah uh don't have much to add to what i've said in the video or what i, I just <laughs> said after that uh yeah So, uh, if you made it this far into the video, uh, you're good. Thank you for uh, sticking with me this long. And um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Uh, also, uh, support and subscribe to Double Toasted. Uh, the link to the channel and the video will be in the description as usual. Uh, and also, um, uh, leave a like and a comment in the, in the comment section. Uh, well, tell me what you think about Jaws the Revenge and, uh, or the Jaws franchise as a whole, if you want. And, uh, yeah, like I said, the first one is one of my favorite, uh, horror movies, so. Okay, um, it was good, but time to end this video. <laughs> so, um, yeah, um, Okay, I was trying to find something else to say, but I don't have much. <laughs> okay, anyway, um, so, um, this is all, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.